Bonjour! You've asked me to make a video on fait divers for the TEF section A. I have already released part 1, which deals with the vocabulary. And in this part, which is part 2, I show you how to write un fait divers. And if you are not taking the TEF, this video is still useful because it will help you with your reading and writing skills. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! So, before we get into this fait divers, what is it? Well, a fait divers is a short news item. It can be a crime, a theft, an accident, a catastrophe or any unusual event. And this fait divers really is normally written by journalists. So, yes, they're asking you to write this and we're still going to do it. Here are the instructions and I just remind you that all instructions are written in French, okay? So it says, terminer cet article en ajoutant à la suite un texte de 80 mots minimum en faisant plusieurs paragraphes. So you're going to have a short little um, article and they're going to ask you to add a text which is about 80 words minimum and when you're going to write it you'll have to make several paragraphs and I'm going to explain this in a minute but I would advise you uh, not to write too much and 100 is good 100 is good don't go over 100 because you know what it's like. You write more and you will make more mistakes. So I'm going to share with you my technique. My te technique is based on six questions. The what, the who, the where, the when, the how, the why, and the little question mark is for the consequences. So when you're going to write your fait divers, you need to have this information. So the what, which is quoi in French, is what is the event? What are we talking about? What is the fait divers? Then the second is the who, qui, who is involved. The three is where, which is où. Where is the event taking place? Four is when, which is quand, when is it taking place? And you're going to find those four information or pieces of information. Very often it will be already given to you. Then you have number five, how, como, how. How all this happened and why. And the last one, which is what I call the consequences. What are the consequences? Here are my tips. So the first thing you need to remember that you need to bring new elements to the story. It is true that you will be given already some elements, but don't just rely on just that and that's it. You have to develop all this. So that's the reason why you need to come up with the rest of the story and the way the story is going to be structured is this way three parts you have your introduction your development of actions and your conclusion your introduction is basically what you've been given and we've just seen it earlier on the four the first four pieces of information is really your, your introduction and then the how and the why is going to constitute the development of actions. And then you will have your conclusion, which will be your consequences. And then of course, if you have some imagination, that would be perfect. So the don'ts now, don't rewrite the part which was given to you because you're going to waste time. They're not interested in that. And also don't reuse the text and don't 
summarize it because that's not the purpose of the activity and don't write in one block remember they said use paragraphs normally uh, fait divers is a short as you know is a news item so it's something which has already taken place therefore the tense which we are going to be using is the past tense but you know that the past tense has different forms you have the passé composé you have the imperfect which is l'imparfait and as well the plus perfect which could be used at times plus que parfait this doesn't mean that the present or the future cannot be used of course those tenses could be used but mainly the past tense so this is an example of a paper des pompiers qui se rendaient sur les lieux d'un incendie se sont retrouvés à l'hôpital à la suite d'un accident. So now you need to continue the story with a minimum of 80 words. So what I would like to show you is that there are two verbs with two tenses. So you have se rendait, which is the imperfect, and se sont retrouvés which is the passé composé. So you can see that you can use two tenses within the same sentence, okay? So I'm going to read my version. And also there's a vocabulary section at the end of the video to ensure that you can understand the story. But before I read the story, I would like you to try to use this template at least you have it in your mind so that you don't forget any piece of information. Okay, so the, the what, the who, the where, the when, the how, the why and the consequences. You need to make sure that you write something next to it, which obviously would be your, your story. So this is my story. So for the what, I put an accident. For the key, des pompiers, firemen. Who? En Auvergne, I just came up with a place in France. When? Hier, dans l'après-midi. How? So what happened, really, is un camion a heurté les pompiers. So they were, remember, they were going uh, to put out a fire, but they were involved in an accident, okay? And why were they involved in an accident? Well, the, the why is, is going to be developed later, but vitesse, which is the speed, is really the why. And as a consequence, what happened? Somebody died. A décédé means died. So a fireman died. So I'm going to read the introduction, which has the first four elements. Décès des pompiers à la suite d'un accident. Des pompiers qui se rendaient sur les lieux d'un incendie se sont retrouvés à l'hôpital à la suite d'un accident. La caserne d'une petite ville en Auvergne a reçu un appel signalant un incendie de forêt vers 15 heures. Now we are moving into the development of actions. Quatre pompiers ont immédiatement quitté la caserne. Sur le chemin, un camion n'ayant pas respecté le panneau de signalisation, a continué sa route et a heurté les sapeurs-pompiers. À la vitesse à laquelle roulaient les deux véhicules, ils se sont tous deux renversés. Next paragraph. Les pompiers ont été transportés à l'hôpital. Malheureusement, l'un d'entre eux a succombé des suites de ses blessures. Les autres n'ont été que légèrement blessés. And the last paragraph. Quant au chauffeur du camion, il s'en sort sans une seule égratignure. Les pompiers n'ont pas pu arriver à leur destination pour éteindre ce feu de forêt provoqué par une cigarette mal éteinte. As promised, this is the vocabulary which was used in the fait divers. Let's go through the vocabulary related to this fait divers. So we have décès, which is death. À la suite de, following. 
Respecter le panneau de signalisation. To obey the road sign. Heurter. To hit. Succomber des suites de ses blessures. To die from one's injuries. Être légèrement blessé. To be slightly injured. Quant à. As for. Il s'en sort sans une seule égratignure. He walks away without a single scratch. Éteindre un feu. To put out a fire. And the last one. Une cigarette mal éteinte. An unextinguished cigarette. Well, that's it. I hope that you really enjoyed this fait des verts. And... I hope you understand it, that's the main thing, and try to practice as often as possible writing your fait divers because it's all to do with practice. So if you like the video, please like it, share it, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Au revoir!